the term regenerative, I mean, it's a positive term, isn't it? This is the next step. We're, we're, we're not just sustaining a broken resource or a degraded resource, we're growing it. A lot of time in uh, agriculture, we have a mindset where we just wanna take. Like we just wanna grow something and take it off and, and just take what we can, but we've gotta start thinking we've gotta give. We've gotta give back to the soil. And if I think we're thinking that way, we're giving to the soil, then it'll give back to us. There is a small group with innovative ideas, early adopters, that drive that. And so often, we expect the answers to come from the government or from the universities. That's not where change happens. The change happens from the bottom up and it's happening right now in Australia. We talk about sustainable agriculture and feeding the world, but a new way is entering our farm gates and it means a whole lot more than being sustainable. My grandfather was a tillage farmer. My, uh, my great-grandfather and great-great-grandfather all used tillage and the soil got worse and worse. And regenerative ag is just trying to make the resources that we got, which is our soil, better. Our soil biology needs to be kept fed. And so we just don't eat two months of the year and the rest of the year eat nothing. You know, we need to keep our soil biology alive. We need to feed it a diverse mix of, uh, of root systems and a diverse mix of stubbles. So it really is just, you know, thinking about our soil like we do uh, a children or an animal or something like that and just thinking about how we can look after it the best possible way. If you talk to the old timers and that when they started and they could grow oat crops up here off no fertiliser and we had a lot of organic carbon and, and things in the soil and just with our um, practices and it was, you know, not saying anyone was doing anything wrong, it was just, you know, what, what we were doing at the time and, and working ground and, and um, it has it has worn down our soils and degraded them so you know we're building them up but you know we don't want them to be sustainable where they are now we want to regenerate them you know and then get them up to where they were and could, could potentially be and to be sustainable so that regenerative agriculture is um, you know we've still got a long way to go on, on our farm and I think um, you know everyone it's it's, it's, and it's an exciting thing to do. Vic No-Till wants to support growers to build a system that uses diversity and improves soil health to drive down costs and improve yields. This is a system that places a seed in the ground as gently as possible, retains as much standing stubble as possible, has a living plant in the ground all year round, has diversity through growing multi-species covers in between our cash crops, introduces more diversity for insects by including pollinator plots along fence lines and around crops, a regenerative system that builds soil organic matter and therefore increases water holding capacity. A system that becomes less susceptible to weed and insect pressure because we're addressing the problems and not putting band-aids on the symptoms. A system that ultimately is reducing costs and building yields. There isn't any tool that's a silver bullet type thing. It's a matter of trying to put it all together into the right situation for you in your family, your operation, and therefore you can move forward. And it's really all about the whole system. You've got to look outside your own paddock and your own, your own farm and, and get out and there's a lot to learn out there and, and there's a lot of pieces to put into the puzzle. The real potential of agriculture has nothing to do with iron. The soil is the real potential in agriculture. We depend on soil, not machinery. We've been doing agriculture for a century. The machinery kept changing, not the soil. As our soil health actually increases, uh, you know, we are seeing yield bumps as well. And so in the last three years, we've reduced our fertilizer rate by about half, and we're continuing to do that again this year. So, you know, we have major reductions in fertilizer usage because our soil health is there. Our microbiology, then our fungi and our bacteria are actually passing on what the plant needs. So it comes back to that symbiosis of plant and soil. The biology in our entire ecosystem, especially the soil biology, needs some time to adjust to the new management system as well. We should not wait for anyone to tell us what to do or tell us what we will be. I look at my son and he goes, I will be a farmer because he wants to take care of the land. He wants to be able to grow something. 
And this is what a farmer is. It's somebody who takes care of the land and feed the people.